Today we kick off our third season. We are in the Bundesliga. We have got two games today in the DFB Pokal and our Bundesliga opener. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you very much for coming back. Today, as I say then, two big games as we kick off that difficult third season. Um, it is going to be difficult as well. As you can see, we do have all those friendlies there. We had a bit of a mixed bag in pre-season. Uh, we lost a few games, but it was, I wasn't really worried about that, to be honest. I was, I was trying a couple of things and you know how it is. It, it's... I don't really read too much into pre-season. I qu quite often I find when I've had a pre-season like that, we end up roasting the division. Obviously, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> we are in the Bundesliga. Look how many games we play in August. That is absolute madness. We play seven league games in August. And presumably, one of those would get replaced by a Pokal second round match if, if, if we get through. Um, we are taking on FC Pippinsried. And I have never heard of them before in my life. They are in the Bayernliga Sud, which is one of the regional leagues in Bavaria, in Germany. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because it's either going to be an absolute humiliation or hopefully we'll hit double figures. I am going to use it as an opportunity, though, to just give a few players maybe a bit of game time. Um, we're going to give, actually, I'm going to... I've got Hikmet Chifchi and Alvaro Aguado both desperately need some game time. Aguado was injured during pre-season, so he's not really had much chance to do anything. And Chifchi, actually, he needs it a bit more, I think, so we'll put him in. Um, Jordi Quintilla, he's fine. He can come in for the next game. The problem I've got, he's a brilliant box-to-box -box midfielder or deep-line playmaker. He's left-footed, so... I don't know. I'll probably play more of the deep line playmaker. Maybe if I play him as a box to box, I might have to switch the roles because he's on the wrong side of central midfield. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, Agben Yenu is making. I'm going to have to just call him Lumo. Or Lumo, I think. Um, Riegler and Hill are all making their debuts. Niall Ennis making his permanent debut, I guess we could say. His Pokal debut, I think. Did he play? He might have played the Dortmund game. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, so as I said, it's either going to be a spectacular humiliation, which quite often happens in Germany, or we're going to go through pretty comfortably. Um, so we're going to pump fists. We're favourites and we should be winning. Oof! Wow, that was a raging success. Uh, yep, I have no worries about Shakiri. Um, don't really care. We've got a very good backup left back who is playing this game. Right. Hopefully, we will deliver what the uh, the board want and we will get to the second round. If we don't, it's not a very good start to the season, is it? It doesn't bode well. If we can't beat a regional team, we have got no chance of beating the big boys. But Shakiri is in and he scored straight away. And apologies, just sort that volume out. Uh, Shakiri in, five minutes on the board. Marlon Ritter off the mark with an assist. I mean, when I say they're regional league, I mean, they're not even anywhere near... The third division level, where we were, where we absolutely destroyed the, the Dreiter Liga. So, we should, shouldn't have any issues here. Marlon Ritter with the assist. Arion Shakiri with the goal. Early nerf settled. Hopefully a second coming here. Gerrit Nauba, 2-0. 10 minutes in. If we're going to score every five minutes, I'm really, yeah, I'll have that. <laughs> That'd be, what, 18-0 if we do that? I'll be, I'll take that. I mean, you're never getting above Garrett now, but I mean, he is literally head and shoulders above his marker there. Literally. I don't think he even needed to jump. But a couple of assists from Marlon Ritter. This, again, I know it's a, it's a hiding to nothing, this game. But if players like Marlon Ritter get some good assists, if Niall Ennis can get a few goals, that, you know, I'm thinking the confidence side of things, it would be immense if that was, if that was to happen. Um, right, come on, boys. You've gone 15 minutes now. We're absolutely killing him. 12 shots on goal already. And are we going to go 3-0 up here? 
I've got to say I'm relieved. I am relieved. I was... Oh, it's a brilliant touch. Oh, Ritter, how have you not scored? Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. What a touch that was from, uh, from Niall Ennis, though, to set him up. Yeah, I've got to say I was just a little bit twitchy when I said I was going to... when I decided to do this game on camera because you never know, do you? You never, ever know. You know, if we have one of those off days and it goes to penalties, anything could happen. But this was a beautiful touch. Look at that. And I don't know how Marlon Ritter's missed that. I really don't. It's a terrible, terrible finish. And, oh, he smashed the post with that free kick. Right, half an hour in. I don't need to worry about doing any shouts in this match unless Pippin's ready to get back into it. I would like Niall Ennis to do something, though. That would be quite nice. But I'm guessing they're playing, like, the lowest of low blocks. Um, because if, obviously, we score from a set piece and we've scored with a long ball into the box. So they don't, they're don't. they not giving us any space in behind, which might not suit Niall Ennis's game, to be fair. Um, because that pace, he wants to get in behind. I wonder if Lucas Spalvis would have been better. Might have been a better option to play Lucas Spalvis, to be fair. But not to worry, not to worry. Uh, pump fist again, I think. Still room for improvement. Ooh, Niall. Why are you complacent, kid? Um, point my finger. There's a lot more to come. Seems motivated. We'll give him 15 minutes and then I'll give Spalvis half an hour. Um, I will give um, maybe Leon Muller, one of our youngsters, maybe give him half an hour, give him a debut. Certainly if we can get another goal in the next 10 minutes, I would. And we might do. Oh, thumped away. Hill plays it forward for Chifchi, Shakiri, And he's going down for the penalty. Oh, Marlon Ritter's going to take it. Now, do I give it to Niall Ennis? I think I will. I think I will give it to Niall Ennis. Let's hope, let's hope he can put it, put it to 3-0. Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, <laughs> Ugger. He's hit the bar. Ah, oh, Niall, what was that? That was really, really bad. I mean, he went to put it in the top corner, didn't he? And failed miserably. We're going to see it here. Ah. Oh. Right, free kick. I shouldn't have let him take that. But this is going to be like a penalty for us. Marlon Ritter. Oh, and he's put it wide. How have you missed that one? That was a clear-cut chance. Oh, I'm going to have to take Niall off now. Niall, you can't be missing a penalty against a team like that. Corner is headed away. Emmerich, get it off him. Get it off him, Kenny. Go on, Kenny, chase him. They've gone all the way back to the keeper. This should allow us to get back on top of the game. Play four down. Wagner's in. And Riegler called into action. That's a chance that they shouldn't have had, boys. Come on. Corner headed away. We're going to see that replay now, aren't we? What a ball from Röder. Straight over the top. That's our high line causing us an issue. And Gerrit now, but just couldn't keep up. And Wagner denied by Riegler. Good save from Riegler. Hopefully that'll give him some confidence. Um, but Niall's going to have to come off now. Uh, Niall Ennis off for Lucas Spalvis. Um, yeah, Leon Muller. I was maybe going to give him a game. Just, I mean, we've got a week until the game against Köln, but I'll, I'm going to give Leon Muller a game, and I'm going to bring Aguado on for Chifchi. So we're making a triple change on the hour, which is dangerous, and I don't normally like to do it, but. I want to get some minutes in. I'm hoping Lucas could come up with a goal as well um, to celebrate his contract. Hopefully, pad his numbers out for the season as well. That's what I was hoping for Niall Ennis, is that he might get a hat-trick in this game and it'll make his numbers look good um, because it's going to be a tough old season. Uh, but it wasn't to be. But it's a chance for Lucas Spalvis to become our first choice going into that Köln game. Now, but with a good ball for Shakiri, who's going to get a good 90 minutes in his legs. And he's gone down again. This one's not given. But it's broken for Leon Muller. And he's put it wide. 
Oh, he could have scored within five minutes of coming on. He might still get a chance, though. That's a poor kick from Roda this time. And Redondo. And that's a yellow card. Oh, it's going to be a second yellow card for Duman. He is off. They are down to ten. Right, now I am going to drop a shout of demand more. As Oscar Hill takes the throw to Shakiri. Now it's with Sikinger. Hill again. Oh, and Leon Muller has scored. A debut goal for Leon Muller. That, that's what I wanted to see. I mean, Shakiri's on the, on the mark. Hill's got an assist now. It's a lovely ball in. It's a lovely finish from Muller. This is what I wanted to see from this game. It was a few... A few good, um, oof. I think the liner's done one there. I think he was probably offside. Uh, I, yeah, I want to, I want to see some of the young players playing well. Just to give, like I say, it's, it's to give them a bit of confidence. I mean, most of them are playing all right. To be fair, Kevin Krause is having a bit of a quiet game. The strikers, we, I mean, again, it's that, it's that deep line. I think the strikers are struggling to get, get anywhere near the goal. I think. Um, but if a chance falls in the box to Spalvis, he will put it away. I'm sure of it. Uh, but look how look, look how deep they are. They're on their own six yard line. Aguado, Sikinjar, Shakiri. Oh, played it out. Hill's going to keep it in. Gets past Dryer. Shakiri, lovely whip in, and Kenny Redondo makes it four nil. And Shakiri has an assist now to go with his goal. Scored the first. He set up the fourth. Good play from Oscar Hill. Lovely ball in. And Redondo, good movement. Totally lost his man. And I think Lucas Muller blocked his marker off, didn't he? And uh, Leon Muller, sorry. And um, yeah. Job done. All right. We're not in double figures. We might still get two or three more. Yeah, you never know. I mean, all it is it was to avoid a banana skin was the main thing and it achieves an objective of getting to the second round as well oh what a hit oh what a hit that was what a hit from Aguado it hit the bar that was so unlucky we've hit the woodwork three times now in this game it's a poor throw straight to the keeper but I mean they'll be absolutely knackered now they will be battered so we could Maybe just take them at will here. A Shakiri. I don't know what that was. I mean, we're going to see it again. It's a lovely ball from Aguado. Lovely chip on it. Gets it out of his feet. And is it a shot? Is it? I don't know. It was didn't really seem to be anything of either, did it? But yeah, as I say, this is this is what we needed to do. Just get the job done. Four nils decent. We've got some good game time into some legs. We've got some of our younger players involved. Um, we've got, uh, you know, goal and an assist for Shakiri on the right wing, which I've not played him there before in a competitive game. So that's a good to know that he can do it. Redondo scored. Um, very, very disappointed that neither striker have scored. But as I say, they, they've just not had anything to operate on, have they? Any Smith this penalty, but they they playing such a low line. Uh, that we've they just had no chance of getting in there, um, which is something that I might have to think about doing. I might have to drop that defensive line back. I think we're going to get absolutely battered by by some of the Bundesliga players, the top top players, and the top top teams are going to kill us with that high line. But I don't want to just go and try and defend all season. I want to have a go. As long as we fight bravely, we should be okay in our jobs. Um, because of course, don't forget, we're now in jeopardy, aren't we? If we go on, if we lose like the first ten games of the season or something, we could be we could be in trouble. Um, so I'm just going to do hands on hips, and I'm just going to say a good win, boys. That's all we need to do. That is all we need to do. We're through. That is it. Uh, what else has gone on? Augsburg have won against 1860. I don't think there's been any major upsets. Uh, Freiburg won 10 0 in their game. That's what I was hoping we would do. Schalke have gone out to du to Duisburg, so a big club have already gone out. Um, Dortmund haven't played. They don't have to go far. Playing Westfalia Rheinen, that's just down the road from Dortmund. Uh, Leipzig and Bayer Leverkusen through. Bayern only went through 1-0 against St. Pauli, but St. Pauli are a decent team. Gladbach haven't played their game yet. It's a tough one away at Braunschweig, who did get relegated. 
Um, but yeah, that is that one done and dusted and out of the way. And next comes a tricky trip again on the road to FC Köln. So the season is underway. FC Bayern won 2-0 against Werder Bremen in the traditional opener where the champions kick off the season on the Friday night. No real surprise there. They're going to win the league again. I think we can safely say that. We are taking on Köln, of course, who are predicted to finish 8th in the... Um, just bring up the league table. In the... Um, in the, in the season um, I, I just want to see what sort of target we're aiming for we had it in the press conference that it's usually around about 35 points about the same as most leagues really but it struck me that other leagues play 38 games the Bundesliga is 34 and they're saying it's 35 points which is horrible <laughs> to be honest um, so Stuttgart finished in the playoff as we know from last season on 32, so 33 was enough last season to stay up. The season before, though, needed 36. So that's going to be really, really tough. Um, yeah. If it's going to be as high as 36, I'm not confident. If it's going to be as high as... If it's going to be as low, sorry, as 32, I'm a little bit happy with that. Um, this is the team that we're going with. Um, I'm just having a look at the bench... Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, actually. I think I'm going to have the keeper on the bench because the squad's not massive. I don't normally. Uh, Spalvis picked up an injury midweek, so I'm going to stick with Niall Ennis at the moment and just see what's going on there. So, yeah, no massive, massive changes. Um, as you can see, just three. Uh, Kintesia comes in for his debut. Thomas Pledel and Manu Hernando are back in. Manu Hernando was injured as well, so he's coming back into the squad, or into the team, should I say. Um, this, as I say, is going to be the toughest, toughest, toughest season we've ever had. Um, we are in jeopardy, as I say. Fight bravely against relegation. I'm confident we can do that. But if we do go and lose 7, 8, 9, 10 in a row, we're going to be in trouble. Um, so I'm just going to say we're underdogs. Go out there and give the fans something to cheer. Uh, Jamilu Collins is suspended, so he is not playing, and uh, Lumo is playing at left back. Why are there no fans in the ground? That's my graphics gone a bit silly again. That's annoying. It does that every now and again. Um, I will have to have a look at. That. I don't. I don't even. Didn't even notice in the last game. So we were playing Pippin's Reed. So if there were no fans in the ground, I just assumed that was normal. <laughs> um, right, it's a good start. Ten minutes, and we're we're still nil nil. I'm happy with that. Uh, Schalke and Bayern what a massive game that is to start the season they are 1-1 already ball played forward good header away Thomas Pledel Marlon Ritter Pledel good ball to Kintia he is left foot playing on the right hand side which is a worry and we've just seen that there that was not good oh that's a poor effort though not good we saw that I'm going to I'm gonna have to address that Kintia was on the right hand side and he just he didn't look happy with it, did he? And he gave the ball away, and we probably should have been a goal down there. That's a poor effort from Wolf. Well, I'm quite happy with this start at the minute. Apologies, might have just been a little jump in the edit there. I had a bit of a drama with the eldest and his laptop. Um, oh, come on, this I'm, if we can get a point out of this game, it'd be amazing. Um, would an encourage work this late into the half? Oh, we did. Oh, I like that. It did. Um... We have only had one shot and we didn't actually see it, did we? We haven't seen any highlights, but anything you can get on the road at the minute in this league is going to be a bonus. We have got a decent squad. I am confident that we will stay up, but it's one of those things, isn't it? You're going to have to get points on the board early. If we start losing games, it's a very, very hard to get out of that. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing a Cologne playing a deep line as well, I wonder. They're on the attack here. No, ah, oh, and there's the goal. Gillam, Gillam and no has scored. He's fourth of the season. He must have got a hat trick in the in the uh, Pokal right on the stroke of half time. That is annoying. I mean, we ne we just couldn't live with it. It was a good move. That is that is annoying. That we couldn't hold on till half time. Really, really frustrating. Schalke and Bayer Leverkusen are two two in their match. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I don't think either of those are going to be uh, anywhere near us. 
It's teams like Augsburg that I'm going to be looking at, and Mainz, um, maybe, well, obviously Union Berlin, maybe Hamburg again. Um, hmm, right, what do I... They're saying we've been a better team. Have we? Have we? Like, show them what you're all about in the second half. That's what I want. Maybe I should have gone in with the defensive formation and then at half time change it to the attacking one and try and take them by surprise at the start of the second half. Maybe maybe that would have been something to do. I have changed the defensive line and the line of engagement to standard as well um, just to try and stop teams getting in behind us as Niall Ennis comes forward. Oh, it's a brilliant run and a terrible finish. Oh, I mean, look how far out he is when he gets the ball. It's superb. But then he's on his weaker foot. Really not. Why is everybody ending up on their weaker foot? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. That was such a good effort. Such a good run. That would have been a lovely, lovely goal. Uh, right. Time to start thinking about substitutions. See that, what this highlight brings. It's going to bring a second goal, I think. Wolf across for Duda. And it's 2 0. And they are. Why is the stadium empty? What's happened to my graphics again? That's really annoying. Has there been an update to the game or something? Why, why have my graphics gone. Ah, oh, so annoying. 2 0 anyway. Ugh. Boys. I kind of had. I hope that we might get a point out of this game. Um, oh, come on. There's been some terrible performances. Aguado can come on for Chief Chi. What happens if I switch those two around? Aguado's not great as a box to box, but I could do. I can change their roles around. Um, and then at least Kintia is on the right side of. or the correct side. Um. This is really, really tough. I mean, we have got a small squad, to be fair. It's not going to put up with too many injuries. Um, I don't know what else. There's not an awful lot of game changers on the bench. That's the worry. Redondo might have to come off. Thomas Pleddle should come off. But Elias Hoot is injured or suspended. Uh, so he can't come on. Shakiri could come on for him, though. Let's do that. Let's change the wingers. Um, we'll bring Pledel off for Shakiri and Redondo off for Bonianga. Come on, kids. Show the old guard what you can do. Uh, let's give him a little beret. Let's see if it does anything. Ritter plays the ball in. It's cleared away. They are protecting their lead, it seems. They had nobody up front there, but they're pushing out onto us now. That's a good ball from Aguado to Quintilla, though. And Ritter. It's going to break for Bonianga. Whips it across. Cleared away. Get there. Lumo does. Aguado. Lovely ball. Niall Ennis. Get it. Oh. It's offside. Oh. That was, the, that was it. That was the hope. That was the goal to get us back in it. 15 minutes to go. That would have given us some... Re oh, come on. His feet are onside. For God's sake, he doesn't touch it with anything other than his feet. His feet were onside. Damn. That's a bit better though, boys. Come on. Hill plays it forward into the channel for Ennis. Comes inside now. He's on his right foot. He went for power instead of accuracy. And the keeper stayed big. And the corner is headed away. Oh, again. Niall Ennis getting in. Just not finishing it. Kraus. Kintija. Ennis to Ritter. He's got there and he scored. Yes, boys. Come on. I mean, the highlight kept going and I was surprised that it did. Kintija played it in for Ennis. And it's a brilliant run from Ritter. And he gets there before the keeper. And he halves the deficit. And it is 2-1. And on this last passage of play, we deserve that. But I've got a feeling they're going to come back at us now. 
They're going to have gone back attacking. And it's probably going to be 3-1 immediately. Unless we can steal it here. Come on. No, it's played into the channel for Wolf. This is going to be 3-1 more than 2-2. It's a good block. And again, cleared away. And Bonnie Anger. Good tackle by Erschen. Nothing really happened there. I don't really know why that was a highlight. Don't really know why we've seen it again. It must be the block at the near post. He's counting that as a clear-cut chance, which it clearly is not. <laughs> These are. Uh, can I drop a little demand more in here? Boys, can we... Oh, it's gone down so, so badly. Could we nick a point? We've got them penned in here, but they've broken. They've broken through, and here's Jacobs. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's going to be 3-1. And it's Duda again. I mean, that's annoying. I mean, that's not even anything to do with our defensive line. That's just to, to do with the fact that Hill decided not to do a goddamn thing. That is frustrating. We got back into the game. And that is a very, very, very cheap goal to give away. And Oscar Hill is on the naughty step now. I am not pleased with that one whatsoever. Is it going to be four? That would be a bit harsh. It's thumped away and it's thumped straight back again. <laughs> and it played back to the key part. He clears it away and Bonnie Anger. He's done well there. Good feet. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, it's a great tackle. Lumar whips it in! And Niall Ennis has a goal. He scores on his Bundesliga debut. And it's 3-2. And to be fair, we haven't lost 4-0, which is kind of what I was thinking might happen. What a ball in from Lumar. Oh, it wasn't headed in. It was volleyed in under Timo Horn. And it is 3-2. Is, is there a chance? Oh, no, their left-back's playing him on there. Is there a chance? Could we do it? No. Do you know what? I'm not that disappointed in that defeat, to be honest. Uh, hands on hips. Um, gave it your best. Good effort. I think we can go with that. I didn't like the bottom one too much. Because it wasn't that pleasing a performance. Um, but I'm all right. Um, it was, yeah. It was disappointing to concede on the stroke of half time. A couple of things there I wasn't happy about. I mean, that, that third goal was really, really poor from Oscar Hill. Uh, but we fought. We, we fought all the way there. And it does give me confidence that we might be able to get some points. Unfortunately, we've got a god-awful start to the season. I mean, we've got Schalke next, and then a trip to Dortmund. I mean, we, we could be 0 for 4 or 5, to be honest. Um, if we have a look at the schedule while we sign off, I mean, conceivably, we could lose all seven of those, and that would be bad. That would be really, really bad. Um, I will say now, if we do get sacked in this save then the series will end um, because the whole point is it was to bring Kaiser Slaughter back up. I'm not going to take another job in the division or in the in the universe. It will be, that would be the end of it. It would be a kind of success because we've got Kaiser Slaughter to the Bundesliga, but I, this is where it starts. This is where I want to build. And yeah, it's going, that's going to be a tough August. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, smash the like. Uh, hit subscribe and turn on the notifications as well. Jump in the comments. Again, we've had a couple of games now. Let me know how you think we're going to do this season. Um, check out America's Adventure as well. Link in the description. And I will see you very soon for another couple of games. Not sure when I'm going to come back yet. Maybe towards the end of August. Uh, for Maybe Gladbach and Wolfsburg. Something like that. But yeah, I will see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching.